Good evening. Welcome to City Council meeting in Pasadena, Texas, April 17th, 2018 at 6 p.m. The invocation would be by J.T. Thomas and the Pledge of Allegiance will be done by the uh, colors of the Boy Scout Troop 199. Please stand up. Almighty God, we offer our gratitude this day for our continuing remembrance of your place in our deliberations. From the days of the Continental Congress and the first Constitutional Convention, we have called on you for help, and you have been most generous to this wonderful land. Once again, we come to you for guidance as we settle down to face the difficult difficulties of government in this free but diverse society. As we work towards the resolution of our day-by-day -day problems that affect our constituencies, let us also look to the future of all mankind. We have the task of offering the oppressed people of this world the torch of freedom. And in the process, let us never forget those who paid the last full measure of devotion, that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. Let us emulate their courage and faith. Amen. 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 Forward march. Color guard hold. Color guard prepare to post the colors. Color guard post the colors. Scott salute. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. Two. Color guard about face. Color guard, return to post. Color guard, hold. Color guard, ease. You may be seated. Thank you so much, Troop <coughs> 199. It's, a, it's an honor to have young people here at the city government. Thank you so much. <coughs> with that, we'll start with uh, Councilman Villarreal. Any comments? Thank you for all, all of you for being here today. I want to start off with, uh, uh, everyone knows here we had another <coughs> officer involved shooting. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for what you guys do, putting yourself on the line every day. It's the most difficult job in the world, I know. Um, you do it magnificently and professionally, and the citizens here will appreciate it. Council here appreciates it. I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the Code Enforcement Department as well. They've been doing an absolutely great job in my district uh, throughout the city from what I've heard. So uh, with that, I pass. Thank you, sir. Councilman Lehman. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, Boy Scouts, thank you for the pledge and presentation of colors. That was very good. Um, Neighborhood Network handed me something uh, right before pre-council. They asked me to mention uh, there's going to be a team up to clean up event on Saturday, September the 7th. Uh, the primary function of the team up to clean up is to beauti beautify our city while helping those that may not have the means to help themselves. If you'd like information about this, you can contact, um, go to our city website or contact our neighborhood network for applications or if you'd like to sponsor or volunteer. And I'd like to also mention this past Saturday, uh, the Queens neighborhood had their annual picnic in the park and this year was a, a special event. Uh, the walking trail out there was completed. It was dedicated uh, by Mayor Wagner 
to a former city employee, Gino Cruz, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, my fellow council members, uh, Kate and Bass and Shane Bynes for coming. Uh, appreciate your support, and we're very glad to have y'all out for that. And also, we had a little beautification project in the neighborhood. It was done. Uh, some of the neighbors made me aware of it before I saw it, but uh, thanks to Parks and Recreation, the city entrance uh, on Allen Genoa near Queens has been landscaped and it looks excellent and I want to thank them for that. And lastly, like Councilman Villarreal said, police officers, thank you so much. Appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Councilman Harrison. Thank you, Mayor. I want to say to the Boy Scout Troop 199, I really believe this country's in good hands with young men and women like y'all represent us. Thank you very much. I pass. Thank you, sir. Councilman Casados. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out, and I too would like to thank uh, the uh, our men and women in law enforcement. Thank you guys so much for what you guys do. You put your lives on the line every day, and uh, I can't uh, uh, express my gratitude for that. And I know the citizens appreciate that as well. Um, I'd also like to thank the Boy Scout tr Troop 199. And also, we have another uh, troop over here. If you could, ma'am, I, I forget the number of the troop. 530. 530, yes. Uh, matter of fact, so so she's here as well. They're, they brought some uh, young men over here to uh, learn about city government. They got to get it for uh, their uh, 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 badges and whatnot. Uh, so we appreciate that. And I will say that it's a great organization. It teaches young men and girls, for that matter, now uh how to be leaders and you know what we need strong uh individuals that uh, know how to how to uh go through day to life and and uh, become a uh, uh, very strong and positive citizen so with that uh, i pass mayor thank you sir councilman willer uh thank you mayor excuse me thank you mayor um quickly i just want to say th uh, thank you to the boy scouts for showing up today it's important stuff um i wish growing up that I would have had the opportunity to, to come to a council. I mean, I know we have different groups come every so often, but it's, it's really important to, to see your city government, see your local government, even your, your state and federal government, see how it works, and, and, and understand that you, your vote and your input is what really ultimately drives where your tax dollars go and, and how your city operates. So thank you for that. Um, also want to thank police officers, everything you all do. I know another, unfortunately, another um, negative news um, here lately, and uh, prayers go to you all. And, also, as a, as a veteran, I know that uh, the world's a crazy place, a lot of unease, a lot of restless places out there, and I want to say pray for our troops um, in this tumultuous time. That'll pass. Thank you, sir. Councilman Caton. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out and being part of city government tonight. I know this, uh, since the last council meeting, I had uh, two subdivision uh, neighborhood meetings. I had one with... Uh, Last week, last Tuesday, with Crest Haven Subdivision, and, and some of the representatives are, are here today. And also, while I was there, walked all the, not walked all the streets, I drove all the streets in that subdivision and made a long list of uh, code violations and turned those in, and they told me their code enforcement officers have already been out there checking it out. So, and also I had a, neighborhood meeting with my subdivision, Whitney Estates 3. And at these meetings, I always like to discuss the budget, projects that are uh, coming up, and where your tax dollars are actually going. Without a pass, Mayor. Thank you, sir. Councilman Bass. Good afternoon. I just love to listen to you, Phil. You've got such a strong voice, and I can hear it. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you all for coming today. And uh, like previously said, I love that background we have back there. <laughs> Good fan. And the two guys standing right by the door, they put the biggest ones right there. So. <laughs> <laughs> they won't get past them. Um, thank you to the Boy Scouts. Uh, I had two sons that made Eagle. And um, it is very true that uh, the women can get very involved because my wife is responsible for both of the eagles. And so I know it is very doable. Um, I also wanted to talk about we had, along with uh, 
Councilman Lehman's um, park event with Gino Cruz. Uh, Gino was a, a great friend. He, he was very involved with the Golden Gloves, and our family did a lot of Golden Gloves back in the days. And also, he was big in Salvation Army. He, he, was, he was a great guy. It was a good event. The weather even held off for him. Not so much as at Crenshaw Park. The, the kites and the fishing, we got a little bit rained out. A few people showed up, but for, for the volunteers that showed up, I really appreciate them coming. I want to say howdy. Pat Van Hout, former councilwoman. And last but not least, I had a little blurb on the cleanup that Councilman Lehman was talking about. Take a look at your neighborhoods. When you're driving down the street, you see these bandit signs sticking in the road. Those guys pay probably three or four dollars on a good day for them. If they kind of disappeared, our streets would look a lot cleaner. Be safe if you happen to go walking around looking for that. But I think if everybody gets involved, we can really beautify our city all together. We can get a jump start on that September. And with that, I pass. Thank you, sir. Councilman Schengman. Yes, I'd like to welcome everyone as well to uh, City Council tonight. Thank you to Troop 199 and our other troop that's with us this evening. Uh, it, it's always a, a beautiful sight to see our colors presented, and uh, we, we all thank you for doing that. Uh, to our officers, um, I just have to say that we are all very blessed to have y'all. We support you, we admire you, we love you, and the great thing about our first responders, we have such a diversity, and we have a diversity in age and ethnicity and but they all have one common thread. They love our citizens and they will put their lives on the line to protect us. So thank y'all all very much for that. Another person that I'd like to thank, um, she's in the news right now, it's Barbara Bush. And uh, she has a legacy of uh, her literacy program for young people. Um, no matter what the uh, politics are, we need to invest in our young people and she dedicated her life to doing that. So let's try to remember her in our thoughts and prayers as well. I'll be having a town hall meeting Thursday night, this Thursday night from 6.30 to 8.30 at Papa Yokes, and uh, it's for District H. But if you're not in District H, you're welcome to participate as well. And with that, Mayor, I pass. Thank you, sir. We'll get down to citizens wishing to address council, Robert Jeter. Good evening, gentlemen. Seeing as how y'all are all here and nobody has chosen to submit a resignation, I'll take that as a sign of good faith and your commitment to be more transparent with the citizens of Pasadena. Fantastic. Let's start with item F and resolutions. Unless it contains wording to expressly prohibit anything being subbed out or cutting someone in on the deal that shouldn't be there, which is strongly indicated possibly in 2C.02 and 2C.03, then I would implore council to vote against it until amended. I've informed council before that the days of sneaking things by the citizens unchallenged are over. I'm here, I'm challenging you to be better. I have no problem doing business directly with Linebarger or Purdue. What I do have a problem with is continually inserting middlemen into contract deals negotiated in back rooms who take thousands of dollars a month for providing no service to the city on the backs of the taxpayers. That is unacceptable and very shameful. It should not continue. I worked out in the heat today. I work hard for my income, as does most of the rest of the city. I expect our city leaders to lead by example and work harder than we do to be compensated by the fruits of our labor, not living high on our dime for doing nothing. We can do better than that. Gentlemen, elections are coming up in a little over a year. Transparency makes your jobs easier in that pursuit. Accountability gives us less reason to replace some of you. The citizens are always paying attention, and I see them networking and organizing more and more every day. Keep that in mind going forward. Thank you, gentlemen. Jeannie J Jameson. Yes, I'm here to complain about the heavy trash in the mayor's office. I flooded August 27th by Harvey. I put my stuff out to the road, and for five weeks, I looked at this wide. 
you would like to pass it. I looked at that for five weeks. Me and my husband caught contractors dumping their garbage on top of that. I had to pay $1,000 to have that hauled off because I called the mayor's office in heavy trash and they told me they would not pick that up because it had sheetrock. I'm a tax paying citizen. I have lived here 39 years and I want my $1,000 back from the city of Pasadena. I think I was done wrong and I want my money. That's my insurance money. I'm living in a trailer in my driveway. I had lived six months with no walls, no insulation, waiting on the red tape from the insurance company. I feel like our city's let my neighborhood down, which is Phil Caton's district. My neighborhood looks like a garbage dump. And the day after I paid $1,000, there's three city trucks out in my neighborhood picking up garbage. I'm serious, I want my money back. I paid $1,000 and there's proof right there from my contractor and he, my neighbors told him, I don't live that way. And I'm serious, I want my, that was my insurance money to get my house fixed. It did $60,000 worth of damage to my house. We caught people, there's stuff that didn't even come out of my house in there. And I'm serious, I want my money back and I think I deserve my money back. Because I feel like the city's let me down as far as waste management. That's a joke. I pay to have heavy trash picked up twice a month. He rode around my neighborhood, my city councilman. He'll tell you how trashy my neighborhood looks. What do I pay for? I feel like I'm being messed around by the city twice. But I'm serious about wanting my money back. And I wish you would check into it, sir, because I called your office and I called heavy trash. My daughter and I called for five weeks because every morning I woke up, that pile grew to 15 foot in front of my house. So where's that fair to me when I pay for it to have done? And I really wish you would keep that and look into it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bill Pittman. <laughs> Mayor, City Councilman, Bruce. I want to tell you, usually when I take a stand, I want to yell and scream and stomp my feet. I have nothing to yell about. I have nothing to stomp my feet about. I think y'all doing a great job. I think that we can do better, like we all can. Uh, with Bruce, uh, Bruce, I'm going to tell you one thing. Don't tell Patsy that y'all put those flyers out there for the city. Those are for Patsy. She thinks that uh, y'all beautified that section for Patsy. Anyway, I have not had a trouble with the water department. You know, when they did the water lines in my neighborhood, they come back out there and they're still working on cleaning up their, some of their messes, but they always come. Bruce makes sure, I called Bruce one time, he's out there. Uh, I had heavy trash out there. I didn't have no problem with them either. You know, there must be a hang up there someplace. Uh, Bruce has done more for me than any other councilman that I've ever de dealt with. And y'all have, think, I think y'all have uh, done a great job on the city council. I really, you know, I'd vote for every one of you if I could. And I think you all great. I'd like to thank the police department. They have done a fantastic job. And uh, Al's always getting up there doing better. The fire department. The fire department is one of the best. I think it is the best volunteer fire department anybody has. And I think uh, Pasadena is one of the safest cities in the state. I know my neighborhood is because you have to have people get involved with it. The neighbors have to help neighbors, and that's what we do in Mount Vernon. Thank y'all. Thank you, sir. Paula Tornado. Um, good evening, council members, mayor, and residents. I am here on behalf of Airlines Houston, Healthy Living Matters, and Harris County Public Health. Um, we joined forces in order to host a town hall meeting on April 29th of this month, um, and it's going to be on Sunday. It will be from 10 a.m. to noon at the St. Peter's Episcopal Church. Um, Airlines Houston will be releasing key findings from our community survey that address air quality issues, quality of life issues, and concerns about um, safety. 
Um, Healthy Living Matters will also be addressing childhood obesity, obesity uh, physical activity, and its safer routes to school program. And lastly, Harris County Public Health will be um, informing the public about chronic disease prevention programs and asthma resources. Um, so we definitely hope that you guys can make it to the town hall meeting. It'll be informative. And to piggyback onto what Carrie Bass was, was mentioning, that it is important to uh, make the city beautiful. It is very important as well to make the city cleaner and healthier for um, everybody and for the children because they are the future of our, our, our city. So thank you very much. And I hope that to see you there. Thank you. Also, if the Boy Scouts would stick around after council meeting, I'd appreciate it. I have something to say to y'all. Okay, we'll get down to presentations and minutes. April 3rd, 2018. Motion Lehman, second Bass. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Brings us down to progress payments. Motion. Motion Caton. Second. Second Bine. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Brings down to finance resolutions. Motion Shanebine, second Lehman. Any questions? Mayor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to speak about uh, there's some payments on here for uh, uh, waste management, and this is directly directed at the lady here that uh, had some issues with her garbage pickup. Uh, I'd like for you to know, ma'am, that uh, I really uh, fought and tried to get not to raise our, our trash rates. Uh, it was a 37% increase after our water rates went up. Uh, the CPI index goes up, your rates go up. It was uh, just, in my opinion, it was terrible. And I, I, I'm very sorry uh, to hear that at our city to not go and pick up your trash. And uh, you know, it's not anything against the sanitation department because I think we have a great department, but at the same time, I. I really hope that you get your money back. So I want to commend you for your courage. And I think uh, it goes to show that uh, people out there, you, citizens, you guys, you guys employ us and you guys vote us in and you guys are supposed to hold us accountable for what we do and what we don't do. Uh, we don't always make the right decisions, but we go, I know I go with what I feel is right. I work hard for my money just like everybody else does. And you know, for you to have to dig into your uh, money for to, to pay for this a thousand dollars to fix your home, to beautify your home, because nobody wants to live in a trailer for six months. So, uh, with that, ma'am, I just want to say that I'm I'm behind you 100, percent and I, and I hope you get your money. So, I pass, Mayor. Thank you. All in favor? Wait a minute. Other discussion? Uh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Thank you, uh, Councilor Casado, for your comments, but uh, I appreciate your comments. Uh, and also, uh, you said they wouldn't pick it up because of asbestos. Sheet rot, asbestos. But I never have heard that before. And after the Hurricane Harvey, uh, I know they pick it up, and I don't know why, but uh, your emotion and your desire, I truly believe you. And therefore, I think the city should be compensate you for your damages. Thank you, sir. I appreciate and I'll be voting for it. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Personnel changes? A and C. Motion. We have a motion, Casados. Second. Second, Shanebine. Any questions? Mayor. Yes, sir. On uh, regular employees, A, I'd like to separate out. Uh, Madam Secretary, we're, 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 we'll, we'll separate that. Uh, separate out Daniel Pennington from the rest of the group. And, Mayor, if I may separate the, uh, uh, Senior city. This, what was that again? Senior City Secretary Assistant. There you go, Senior City Secretary Assistant. We'll separate that one also. Let's vote on the... Um, Let's vote on the uh, what we have on the on the on the floor now. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Now, we'll, now we'll vote on the Dan Pennington. Mayor. Yes. Um, I apologize. I would, my, mine was a no vote on everybody else. Okay, we have a no vote. A no. On on yes. 
Okay. Now we're back to, yes, sir. Can I, sorry. That's fine. Okay. Where were the motions on, who had the motions? I had the first and Shane yes. had the second. Okay, sorry. That's fine. <laughs> there was just one motion. That's yes. Right. Now we're on the um, HR director in Pennington. Yes. We have a, okay. a motion. Second. And a second. Shane Bine. Any questions? Yes, Mayor. I just like to mention, uh, I cannot support hiring uh, Mr. Pennington, a police officer. He was former police officer here in the city of Pasadena. Uh, I want to hire someone who's got a good personnel human relations background. I want some education in that as well as years of experience. I know the city of Pasadena, we deserve to have someone here in the city with a lot of experience. So that's one of the reasons I'm going to be no voting against this because I've seen a couple of other resumes that's got a lot of experience. I'd like to hire someone like that. So I'm going to be voting no against uh, Mr. Pennington. Any other questions? Mayor. Ms. Hedos? Yes. Uh, so I guess I'm on the other end of the table on this one. And I'm going to be voting for this. Uh, I believe we currently don't have an HR director. Uh, we moved uh, Randy Perry over to the convention center. Uh, I believe that the uh, experience that the officer has dealing with the individuals on the police force, uh, he had some other jobs uh, out, of, out of town. And uh, uh, from my understanding, did a, did a fine job. So I'll, I'll be supporting this. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Mayor, Go ahead, sir. I'll be supporting Mr. Pennington due to the fact that He's from Pasadena. I'm very pro Pasadena. And Mr. Pennington has educated himself over the last 30 years. He's had 22 years municipal uh, experience. He has three master's degrees. And the one qualification to me that sets him apart from all other uh, candidates is that he will become the civil service director and that is a very, very important position within our city. Um, it sets standards. This person has to know the laws backwards and forwards, inside and out. And Dan, uh, Mr. Pennington, is an excellent candidate, and he'll fill the position very well. Okay. All in favor? Mayor. Oh, sir? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, you're doing it. Let's flip a coin. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, go ahead. Just don't end it. Uh -huh. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Mayor Daniel Pennington, uh, uh, first met him when we were building a new police station. He was a lieutenant then. And I never have uh, seen a professional individual as, as Mr. Pennington was. And we got a beautiful police station. And uh, I know that there's other personnel problems. And I stood by him all the way. And uh, his resume, I'm, he's, he's got a <clears throat> master's of business administration, bachelor of science in accounting, completed a certified public, public manager program for the state of Texas, as well as Hofford Kennedy School, senior executive, state and local government program, served as a dark heart head chief of police for nearly five years. And he is highly qualified. And the other personnel manager we had, he was president of the Chamber of Commerce. He was out of a job when they hired him. And uh, I have nothing but deep respect, and I know the mayor's appointed, but I do realize that I can work with him. He's a person that'll work with everybody, and I have deepest respect for him. And he didn't get all these degrees and everything, and I've stuck by him since day one, since I met him. He's an honest, smart individual. And he's going to do a great job for the city of Pasadena. And I don't know why we hold past grudges to vote no against each individual. we got to move forward instead of hold the past. And that's what I'm doing with, with Mr. Pennington. He's going to do a great job for the city of Pasadena, and I support him. Thank you, sir. Bass? Mayor, why do I have to follow that? <laughs> we don't have to. Let's just vote. I know. I just, want, I just want to say... Daniel Pennington has a sterling <laughs> resume, as Council Member Harrison said. The folks, you can look at print on paper, 
and it tells you some stuff, it tells you the accomplishments, but really the validity comes from the folks that know him. These gentlemen in the back, a lot of them know him. I trust their judgment, and I think he's gonna make a fine HR director for our city, and so I'll be supporting him. Thank you, sir. Pass. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? None. Passes. Now, Madam Secretary, we'll get down to the other separated position, which is the Senior City Secretary Assistant. So we have a motion, Casados. Yes. Second, Shane Bine. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, do you have something that you, you want to present? I think this would be a good time to do it. Yes, sir. Please, please step up. Good evening, everyone. I thought the mayor had forgot us, but he didn't. So uh, it's my honor tonight to pr uh, present a proclamation to our good friends at Centerpoint Energy. I want to recognize Matthew Smith, Gary Mills, and Kevin Hare, if you guys would stand. And I'm going to read this proclamation on behalf of Mayor Wagner. Proclamation. Whereas each year the nation's underground utility infrastructure is jeopardized by unintentional damage by those who fail to call 811 to have underground lines located prior to digging. Undesired consequences such as service interruption, damage to the environment, and personal injury, and even death are potential results. And whereas the Common Ground Alliance and its 1,700 members promote the national call before you dig number, 811, in an effort to reduce these damages. Designated by the FCC in 2005, 811 provides potential excavators and homeowners a simple number to reach their local one call center to request utility line locations at, it, at the intended dig site. And whereas, through education on safe digging practices, excavators and homeowners can save time and money keeping our nation safe and connected by making a simple call to 811 in advance of any digging project. Waiting the required amount of time respecting the marked lines by maintaining a visual definition throughout the course of the excavation. And finally, digging with care around the marks and whereas the parties agree that safe digging is a shared responsibility. To know what's below, call 811 before you dig. And therefore, Jeff Wagner, mayor of the city of Pasadena, does hereby proclaim April 2018 as National Safe Digging Month. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you all so much. All right, Madam Secretary brings us down to final readings. Okay. Ordinance 2018-36, amend Ordinance 2016-97, consulting agreement with Gallagher Benefit Services, Inc. for Employee Benefits Management Consulting Services. Ordinance 2018-37, amend Ordinance Numbers 2017-103, 2017-133, agreement with Brooks and Spark, Inc. for design of Ritchie Street Reconstruction Project, SAB PS 101, and appropriate an additional $627,500 to be funded by Pasadena Second Century Corporation. Ordinance 2018-38, contract with RM Quality Construction, LSC for reconstruction of a single family home at 216 Alistair Drive under the Home Investment Partnerships Home Program, $129,250. Ordinance 2018-39, extend the annual contract with Municipal Emergency Services, Inc. for the purchase of Scott self-contained breathing apparatus and accessories, including replacement parts, maintenance, testing, and repairs. Ordinance 2018-40, contract with Spearhead Plus Consultants, LLC, for design services for a new fire station number eight, SAB PF007 for a total appropriation, $375,000 from the 2017 Certificate of Obligation Fund Balance Account. Ordinance 
August 28, 1841. Contract with Pertier Brothers Construction Ltd. for the Burke Road West Lane and North Main Lift Station Rehabilitation Project, CIP WW038, WW048, and WW60 for a total appropriation $2,775 from the 2017 Certificate of Obligation Fund Balance Account, Ordinance 2018-42. Amend the Code of Ordinances at Chapter 36 Traffic, Section 36144, Maximum Limits in School Zones, by amending Section 36144A, Table 1, and by adding new Section 36144D and Table 4. Ordinance 2018-43, amend Code of Ordinances at Chapter 13, Fire Prevention and Protection at Section 1312, Fire and Life Safety Operating Permits, Special Use Permits, and Inspections Fees, and Ordinance 2018-044, rescinding and replacing Ordinance Numbers 98-148 and 99-107, Policies and Procedures for the Neighborhood Network Grant Program. So moved. Motion ba uh, Bass, S second Lehman, any questions? The mayor. Mayor, ahead, I'd, I'd like to make a motion to amend 2018-040 uh, to state on final reading by substituting the attached Exhibit A, Agreement for Architectural Services. Okay, we have a motion. We need a second. 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 Caton, any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. One no. I'm sorry, he was the no. Oh, okay. That was... Yeah, absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir, you have questions? And we'll get yes, Mayor. Uh, Madam Secretary, uh, Ordinance 218-037 and Ordinance 218-040, I'd like to present my vote as a no vote. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. All in favor? Mayor. Oh, we, we, we didn't have a motion. Or do we have a motion? Yes, we did. Okay. We did. Yes. yes. Oh, go ahead. You want to say Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, I'd, I'd, I'd also uh, like to uh, do the same ordinance 2018-37 and 2018-40 uh, sure. be a no vote. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other questions? Mayor? Yes, sir. Um, I voted no on this on these two ordinances last time, 218-37. Uh, it's a contract with uh, Brooks and Spark. Mm -hmm. And uh, ordinance 2018-40 contract with Spearhead Plus Construction. The reason I voted no on these last time, as, as as well as this time, is there's one individual who is an employee of Brooks of Spark. He is an employee of our Economic Development Board. He has a contract for a quarter million dollars. Now he's getting another contract for three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. Brooks and Spark is our main contractor, and they also have the contract to do our permitting. I think this is a conflict of interest to have one individual in the middle of so many contracts. I don't think it represents the best interest of the city. Um, and I mean, it was made comment made last time that he deserves to put, you know, food on the table. Well, just in this one agenda item, we got, you know, the two contracts here, we got over half a million dollars, and I can't support that. Okay, sir. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. No. We have three no's. Passes. Brings us down to first readings. 2018-48, approving a variance to Code of Ordinances, Chapter 9, Buildings and General Building Regulations, Section 97A, Minimum Standards for All Street Parking for the proposed Smoothie King to be located at 350-3530A, Spencer Highway. Motion. Motion, Bass? Second. Second, Streambine. Any questions? All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Pass. Ordinance 2018-49, grant franchise to MVP. Terminating LLC for 36 inch refined products pipeline. Motion. Motion Casados. Yes. Second Lehman. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ordinance 2018-50. Purchase of two Pasadena Impel Pumper trucks from Siddons Martin Emergency Group for $1,173,774 to be appropriated from the 2017 Certificate of Obligation Motion. Fund balance. Motion Caton. Second Harrison. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Ordinance 2018-51. Renewal of property and windstorm insurance coverage for one year term through McGriff, Civils, and Williams of Texas, Inc. Motion. Motion Shanebine. Second Bass. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? And we're deferring E. Correct? E is okay. deferred, yes. Ordinance 2018-52. Community partner playground agreement with Kaboom, Inc. for the built it with Kaboom grant. Motion. Second. Uh, motion Liebman, second. Willer, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? 
Ordinance 2018-53, amend Ordinance Number 2017-118, which adopted the annual budget for the year 2018. Motion. Motion Willer. Second. Second Lehman. Any questions? Mayor. Yes, sir. Uh, this is a, uh, I guess, an annual budget uh, amendment. There's a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, not necessarily issues. We have a lot of money moving in and out of different accounts. Uh, to uh, looks like, according to what I what I've seen in this thing, to uh, uh, pay for a lot of payroll personnel uh, services and things of, uh, of that nature. Um, so this right here is going to be uh, a tough one for me to uh, to swallow. Um, but what I would like to do now, Mayor, is I'd like to uh, make a motion to amend this budget and move uh, $8,000 from the account number 7041 and put that back into our general fund. Second. Second. Third. Okay, we have a first. Oh, on, on the amendment there, sorry, we have a... Who, the motion to amend was a, uh, Council Member Casada said who seconded it? Yeah. That's Willard is second. I second it. Okay. All in favor? Hold on, Mayor, for discussion. Okay. We don't have people's discussion. Uh, this is, I think, what Council Casada is doing here is... Uh, He's taking the, the council, I guess, gave themselves a pay raise a few months back, and this is taking away that pay raise. And in a time where we're increasing fees on citizens and, and you know, in post Harvey, I don't think it's right for council to be giving themselves raises. So I do support this amendment. Okay. All in favor? Motion. Aye. Discussion. Discussion. I'll go back one more time. Go ahead, sir. Well, give us time to discuss it. Keep up. Let's go. I think the 650 is stretching it. 850 is greedy that I pass. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mayor, ahead, all sir. council members did not vote on this originally. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? No. no. Yep. You're voting to move the 8,000, correct? Yes. Right. So we have two no's. Matter of fact, let's do a roll call. Right, let's really real? Voting to move the 8, yes, yes, to the general fund. So a yes yeah. vote would move it. From. Okay, to from make this simple, what we're doing is taking that money that was originally voted on in the original budget set and aside. set aside. We're putting it back into the budget instead of having it budgeted for the um, increase for right. gas allowance. Going back to the original format of the 650. All right. Yes. Equal. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Councilman Harris. Yes. 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 Willard. Yes. 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 Now back to the regular, which we have a motion. Motion as amended. Exactly. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That brings us down to resolutions. Resolution 2018-37, donation of $500 from Peggy Turner for multi-purpose center programming. Motion. Motion, Caton. Second, Bass. Any questions? No, oh. I'd like to, like to. Absolutely. Uh, I'd like to mention that uh, Peggy Turner ran the Vernon Cox Multipurpose Center for several years. She was an outstanding lady, did an outstanding job. Now she is giving back to the city of Pasadena. Oh, Pasadena. Thank you, sir. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Resolution 2018-38. In-kind donations valued at $349.35 from McDonald's and valued at $400 from Waste Management for Pasadena Open Market and Easter extravaganza events. Motion. Motion, Shane Bynes? Second. 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 Harrison, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Resolution 2018-39, accepting a grant of $390 from the Texas Commission on the Arts for Pasadena Public Library Program Artistic Phase. Motion. Second. Motion. Casado, second. Wheeler, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Resolution 2018-40, authorizing the mayor or his designee to execute documents related to the Hazard Mitigation Grant Program under DR 4332 RV. Motion. Motion, Harrison, second, Lehman. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? 
Resolution 2018-41. Resolution by the city denying the distribution cost recovery factor rate decrease of Centerpoint Energy Houston Electric LLC filed on or about April 4, 2018, authorizing participation in a coalition of similarly situated cities, authorizing participation in related rate proceedings, requiring the reimbursement of municipal rate case expenses, and authorizing the retention of special counsel. Point of information. You deferred this, didn't you? No, 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 not this one, no, not this one. The other you bet. Is motion, motion. Can I say those? I need a second. second. Second, Shane Bine. Any questions? Yes, sir. I'd like to just uh, kind of sum this up a little bit to make it a little bit easier to understand. Basically, uh, since the federal income tax laws changed, they were able to charge a 35 percent income tax on uh, the services. And the uh, income tax rate now, the federal income tax rate, has dropped to 21%. So what we're doing as a city is we're saying we will pay the 21% uh, and go to court if we have to. Thank you, sir. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Resolution 2018-42. Agreement with Lombarger, Gog, and Blair, Simpson, LLP for pers personal professional services for delinquent municipal court collections and delinquent property tax collections. Motion. Motion. Shane Bine. Second. Second. Caton. Any questions? Mayor. Yes, sir. I'd just like to thank former councilman and attorney Roy Beast for managing this contract for several years. Although he has subbed the actual collection of most of the taxes to Linebarger. So Linebarger has been doing this for several years. Now it's time for us to turn over the contract to Linebarger, Guggen, Blair, and Sampson. I know Richard here, Richard Hill is here, and we're going to let you go, man. <laughs> we'll turn it over to you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Mayor, I just yes, want to make it clear that uh, Linebarger is, uh, quote, 102 times in the contract as the firm doing the collection for the uh, taxes, and uh, they're the ones that are going to be providing the service, so thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Yes, Mayor. Go ahead, sir. Yes, Mr. Hill, we're going to let you go as soon as we vote on it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Any other comments? Mayor. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, so... Uh, this, this contract, this agreement with Lion Barger, um, we had a discuss, pretty good uh, discussion about this during pre-council. Um, I, I was uh, hoping that we'd be able to go out for a, a request for uh, proposals or a request for qualifications. Uh, I feel that that's the best way to be as transparent as we can with this contract. Uh, this thing has been uh, in, uh, as Council Member Caton stated, uh, Roy Meese has had this contract for a number of years. And we have never shopped out to go see what, uh, what kind of better uh, deal or what kind of uh, uh, other firms are, are available to us. Um, I won't be supporting this. And uh, the reason being is because I don't feel it's as transparent as it can be. I think the citizens deserve a little bit better uh, competition. You know, whenever you have people compete and, and, and firms and clients compete, guess what? They give you the best thing that they can. These individuals have had been doing the work for Roy Meese. Roy Meese was a middleman in this contract. Lion Barter's been doing the work for Roy Meese. So, you know, ha to me, that's not, a, not, that's not transparent. Uh, Lion Barter's here today, uh, and that's, this is what competition does. You know, they're here, they want this deal. You know, put it out for a, a request for proposals and see who else comes to the table. I mean, it's only fair. Um, I can't support this, so I'll be voting no, and uh, I uh, urge the council to do the same. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Mayor. Go ahead, sir. Um, so to me, this is, this is really simple. Um, we have, we're given a contract out um, over services, and we have not gone out to the business community and asked, what can you do for us? What are your rates of return? What are your ra uh, rates of collection? How good are you at doing this job? Now, if anyone who who's a homeowner, owns a vehicle, whatever the case is, if you're going to go out and hire a contractor, or hire someone to do some work for you, you're going to go get a few quotes. You're going to find out who's going to offer me the best price for the best services. And over a decade, this city has not done that. Over a decade, this city hasn't gone out and said, hey, who can offer us the best rate? Who's going to bring the most city back to the money back to the citizens? 
Um, and, and to me, it's, it's unacceptable. I mentioned some pre-council. I think we as a council, um, as individual council members, have to do better. We have to say, hey, at a minimum, let's go out and find out what we can do. And I've heard good things. And it may be line bargain. Line bar line bar y'all may be the best group out there. And I have no problem giving y'all the contract if indeed y'all are. But right now, we don't know. We're, we're speaking blindly. Um, and for that, I can't support this. Go ahead, sir. Mayor. Line Barger, as stated by Councilman Wheeler, has been with us for some time. They've done a great job for us. The rates, it's not like a regular bid process, in my, my opinion, uh, like you can bid it and get a cheaper price or a better deal. The rates are set. And so with that, I think Line Barger is the best candidate. They know our situation. They're set up for us. I'll be supporting it. Thank you, sir. Mayor? No, sir. Point of, point of clarification on that? No, sir. Um, no, sir. We're, we're, we're going the, to I know the rates aren't set by the state of Texas, no, sir. but the, no, sir. the effectiveness of what they do. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. We have three no's. Villarreal, Casados, and Willard. Passes. I want to thank everybody for showing up for uh, this council meeting. God bless you, and this meeting's over.